Hi everyone, I'm Florian, one of the developers of Fortis and today I will show you how you can integrate your own forecasting model into Fortis. Everything that I will talk about can also be found in our online documentation under fortis.readthedocs.io. Here we show several tutorials and you can find also one on how to integrate your own prediction model. So here we explain briefly how our model package is designed. So we have a base model class where we define some abstract mandatory methods and we also already implement some useful methods. Based on base model, we then define um, child classes for sklearn, for stats models, for torch and for tensorflow. So for the most important um, machine learning and time series forecasting frameworks. And here we already implement most of the mandatory methods. We have, for example, the epoch-wise train loop for uh, um, neural network is already defined in torch model and in tensorflow model. So down here, where we define the actual prediction models, we do not need to implement a lot. Now most of the stuff is already done before, and that's why we can quickly integrate a new prediction model. In the rest of this tutorial, you can find an example on how to integrate k-nearest neighbors. So we took a rather simple algorithm as we do not want to explain the algorithm first. Um, and here you can find all the step-by-step -step guide that I will now do with you on one of our machines. So we will now go to one of our machines and do this tutorial together. Okay, great. So we are now on one of our machines. We are in PyCharm, yeah? so we recommend you to use a um, um, development environment of your choice. And we already integrated our um, Fortis um, repository into this uh, into PyCharm now. And as you can see here, you can find the model structure again. Yeah, we are having your base model, we are having our um, SK learn model, stat model, and so on. And here we are having this template SK learn model, which we can now use to create our KNN model. So I will now copy this SK learn model and create a new file which we call knn.py. So now here we are having our knn.py model. We also will now rename the class to knn. And we will, that's now an important point, which you should not forget. We are having here under model our init.py. And here we are having the um, definition of all the models, which is important that Fortis finds all the prediction models on all the different environments and setups and so on. So here we need to add now knn, so just the same um, name of our pi file, but without the dot pi. So that's important, do not forget this. And for the rest, we can now use our renamed template, so to say. Yeah? So we also provide a description here. So we already copied the template file. We renamed it and added it to init.py. We want to adjust maybe class attributes if necessary, which is not the case here. And we definitely want to define our model in define model. So that's the function that we have here. In define model, we define our actual prediction model. Yeah. So what we gonna do now here, we will now integrate here our KNN model. So we may want to get some kind of, no, of, of, uh, of numbers, yeah, so some amount of numbers. We will treat this as a hyperparameter. So we will use this function later on here, suggest hyperparameter of tuna 
which can be found in our base model. And this hyperparameter will then just also be called n neighbors. The only important thing, you have to use the same name here in define hyperparameters to theory. The second parameter that we want to define here is our weights parameter, so that um, defines if the um, weights are uniform or um, distance um, um, based calculated. So for details, um, please just have a look at the SKLR documentation. And we also want to suggest the hyperparameter to of tuna, which we also call weights now. You could also now set the parameters on your own. Um, you could um, set more parameters. Um, you can set a parameter depending on the other one. That just depends on what you want to do. And we now gonna just return sklearn.neighbors dot k neighbors regressor. Now we are having a regression task, so we need the regressor. We will set neighbors to our end neighbors, and we will set weights to our weights parameter. And that's basically the whole model definition. Yeah, we are using a rather straightforward SKLearn model. We just need to define the parameters that we want to use and we just need to give back our actual prediction model. And now we need to implement our hyperparameters. Yeah, so here we are already showing some examples. So a hyperparameter is always defined in a dictionary by its name, by the data type, and in case it's categorical, we just supply a list of values. In case it's a float, we supply a lower and an upper bound, which may be also a step if we want to do so. Um, could also just be in the continuous space. And if it's an integer, we can also define a lower and an upper bound or a step if we also want to do so. So the first thing we're going to define now um, our n neighbors and our n neighbors is a integer. For that integer, you're having a lower bound, which we just set to two. We have a upper bound, which we just set to 50. So that's just arbitrary choices now, which then will be optimized by a tuna. And we set the step size of two. We do not need this list of values now as we are having a um, integer data type here. And now we set our second parameter, which is weights. That's categorical. And now we need a list of values. And we do not want to suggest cat, dog, or elephant here, but uniform or distance. Yeah? So that the hyperparameters that we are having we do not need a third one, but you can just define as many as you want. For some of the models, for example, with high torch, you also have to look into the um, parent class because some of the hyperparameters are also defined here. Yeah, and that's it. That's the definition of a whole prediction model here in our Fortis framework. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, you just have to do the defined model and the defined hyperparameters to tune, and the rest will be done automatically. And we will now also check this by running um, Fortis. So we can just run Fortis now by running Python 3 minus m fortis.run. We will now use our Nike sales data set and as model, we will now use KNN. And hopefully we will now see that our model is running. So we are first loading our data set. The Optuna optimization is created and our model is running the whole optimization. 
you can see intermediate results and so on and so forth. So we now also have a quick check that our K and N model is at least runnable. So in this tutorial, I now show you how to integrate your own prediction model. So as you have seen, it's really straightforward and you can really focus on the model implementation, on the design of the model. And you do not need to care about the pre-processing, feature engineering, um, and also the, out um, the hyperparameter optimization. That's fully automated. You can concentrate on the also straightforward model implementation. So we are always happy if people want to collaborate on the further development of Fortis. So feel free to um, suggest your own models for integration into Fortis. Have fun with Fortis. See you soon.